Hello there. So I have been receiving a lot of awesome feedback on the recent videos regarding drum programming, and I've been receiving more requests for doing more of those types of videos. So in this video, I want to talk about how to create realistic sounding ride cymbals, which is super, super tricky if you're just starting out, right? I definitely struggle with this in the beginning and just wanted to share some things that I've picked up along the way. So I got a very specific request from somebody regarding a ride pattern, and it was from the song Propaganda from Sepultura, which hits home for me. I, I was like, I got excited when I heard about that. So let's take a listen to that example real quick, and hopefully I do not get flagged. That part right there. So you wanted to create a ride symbol fill kind of like that, as far as like understanding the different velocities involved and all that sort of stuff. So I want to get into that right now. Okay, so the very first thing I want to do is create a software instrument. So I'm going to do Option, Command, N, pull up software instrument, empty channel strip, let's create. And then I just want to insert a drum sampler plugin on here. So what I'm gonna do today, go down to instruments, Ugratone, just like Ugratone drums. I'm gonna be working with the assault drum sampler from Ugratone today. Very raw, very delicious. So that's loading up right now. We'll give that a second. Okay, so the example that we listen to sounds like it starts on the bell and then moves to the edge of the ride. So let's take a look at where to find those in the piano roll. The way that I'm gonna do that actually is I'm gonna go here, click on the ride, and then I'm just gonna go to routing. And it just shows what MIDI notes will be triggered by what, okay? So we got the bell, we got the top. I thought the bell was the top, so I'm not sure what that's about, but whatever. I'm no drummer. Okay, so now what I'm just gonna do is use the QWERTY keyboard to punch in the bell and the edge of the ride symbol. So let's come over here. Let's go to window, let's go show musical typing. Okay, so F2, right, and then the edge. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just hit record and punch in the bell first. Cool. So now I'm just gonna record right over it and then program this. Beautiful. So this is what I've got. All right, let's take a listen to what we got so far. So kind of a mess. So at this point, you have to start thinking like a drummer, right? I've said this before in other videos and it bears repeating, just, you know, do what you can, like air drum, right? If you are a drummer, great, right? If you're not, um, I've heard great tips from other people just, you know, checking out drum tutorials just to see how drummers interact. But what I'm getting at is that there's a dominant hand and then there's a weaker hand, right? So what that means in, you know, dealing with the velocities of certain MIDI notes, right? Some are gonna have to be louder than others. That's what creates that real human feel. So I wanna start by just uh, laying out the groundwork for the bell. And I think I played way too many here. So I just want to take a look at the grid here. In fact, let's get rid of this. Okay. And why don't I just take care of four bars right now. Let me just chop this real quick. Okay, so if you take a look at the grid here, it's hard to tell with this guy, but this would be a quarter note, this would be a quarter note, this would be a quarter note, and this would be a quarter note. So I want all the bells to hit on the quarter notes. So what I'm gonna do here, I mean, you could just move them one by one if you want. I like to use my command click tool you know, the pencil tool right here, just quickly erase and then redraw. You can obviously quantize if you want, tons of options, right? So we got this. Now the rest of this sounds pretty awful. Uh, let's quantize this. 
Okay, as you can see, it was set to 16th notes. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, I wanna bring these guys over here. And it's a 16th note pattern. So I wanna hold option, click, drag to make a copy. Some of these you don't need. Just get rid of those. Some of them you do. All right, so here's what we got so far. All right, so at this point, I'm just gonna bust out the velocity tool. So, T, select my velocity tool. And then, again, I'm just gonna start thinking like a drummer, right? Just imagining, you know, the first hit's gonna be strong and even you know, this one actually doesn't even exist, I don't think, so it's gonna be like. Right, so I could think like this hit, I'm left-handed, so this might sound weird, but I would be playing the ride with my left hand, so that would be the stronger hit. And then this would actually also be played by the left hand, so it's kind of like strong, strong, weak, so the right hand comes in here. So I would actually just start bringing this down. Right. Once you get down to like around 70 and below, it gets pretty weak. And you can play around with this. I'm going to just do this to every other hit right now. Let's hear that. Okay, so we're getting there. Grab these. I might... Uh, have them be, actually I'll grab all of these, bring them down a little bit more, 80, right, and then uh, I think I will play around with the velocity of the bells a little bit too, because as you can see, they're all registering at 103 just based on what I typed in. So this is gonna be the strongest one. This maybe I'll make a little bit different. Bring that up. And at this point you just have to use your ear, right? Whatever sounds good to you. You just have to, you know, tweak to taste. Like I might even, eight, seven, eight, seven. yeah, so that's the, that. I thought that sounded a little bit too similar, so maybe I would grab all these other ones, bring these down. And then, bring this down even more. All right, and you just go down the line. I like that one being stronger. Yeah. Now, at this point, the only other thing I would experiment with is note duration with the, the 16th notes in particular. So let's see what happens if I make these a little bit shorter. as opposed to hear how it's a little bit more washy when the notes are longer. So it really all depends on what you want to do. Let's hear that again. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's do a little before and after. So if I open this up, you'll see over here, right? Everything is quantized, everything has a very fixed velocity, it's all the same. 
100, 100, 100. And then here's what we did together. All right, so let's hear it. Here's before. After. Before. After. Yeah, so big difference, right? And of course, if that sounds too quiet to your to your liking, right? You can bring it up with compression and all that great stuff as well. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this helps out. And if you're interested in going a little bit further in depth, I've actually put together a sample module from a recent course that I put out that deals with drum programming. It walks you through how to work with pre-existing MIDI drum grooves all the way up to, you know, creating stuff from scratch. So if you're interested in that, you can grab it at the link in the description. Thanks again for watching and let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Definitely drop a comment and let me know. Thanks again. <laughs>